Listen, I'm, I'm sorry that the weekend's over, but happy Monday. Today we're talking about Marvel's Wolverine, how you might be able to expand the storage on your Xbox Series X and S in a different way, as well as customization in the reboot for Saints Row. My name is Devontae Chisholm and you're watching GameSpot News. So remember last week when PlayStation and Insomniac blew everyone's minds with the reveal of an exclusive Wolverine title? Well, good news, it's reportedly a full game. Following Wolverine's announcement, speculation began about whether or not Insomniac's new project would be Miles Morales sized considering they're made by the same team. Well, over on Twitter, Wolverine's creative director, Brian Horton, answered a fan's question about the game and said, quote, full size, mature tone. So what do you think Brian meant by mature tone? Are we gonna get a PG-13 The Wolverine type thing or rated R Logan type game? And now let's switch gears from PlayStation to Xbox because unlike Sony, Microsoft chose to go a different route with expandable storage for the Xbox Series X and Series S. Recall Microsoft announced a partnership with Seagate to develop an easy to install one terabyte expansion card that launched at the same time as the new consoles. Since then, it's been a closed ecosystem, but one user might have found a rather simple way to use a consumer SSD on the latest Xbox consoles. Detailed in a blog on Billy Billy and reported by VGC, one Xbox Series X S user has managed to connect a consumer PCIe Gen 4 SSD to the console using an NVMe to CF Express converter. This converter matches the one that Seagate uses for its Xbox Series expansion card, which is just half of what is required for the solution to work. It's already been determined that Microsoft uses a Western Digital SN530 M.2 2230 inside the Xbox Series X and S, which is what was used for this mod. This might explain why the console has no issues recognizing the SSD, but there's no indication on how this solution will work over time, especially since there's no heatsink on the SSD used. But all right, before we move on, let, let me ask you something. Why does it seem like Jake from State Farm is everywhere? The famous spokesperson went viral this weekend as users across social media realized he's included in NBA 2K22 as a part of the significant updates to the social hub, The City. You can even dress up like Jake. We're not sponsored, this is just kind of funny. And speaking of character customizing, Volition's reboot of Saints Row will allow players to experiment with character customization. In an update post published to the official Saints Row website, developer Volition shared more details on how main character, the boss, can be visually fine-tuned, adding that it had, quote, built the biggest customization suite of any Saints Row to date. According to Volition, players can choose to look like a, quote, stone cold killer or a fantastic looking freak show. And there will be eight customizable voices, four male and four female. Layered clothing is making a return and the vehicular side of the game has a large array of customization options to go along with its revamped combat. And now I just wanna give a big happy 18th birthday shout out to Steam. You may be an adult now, but you still can't legally drink in the US. So take it easy, be responsible. Hit the comment section and give me a list of everything you want, all your hopes and dreams for that Wolverine game. And I'll see you tomorrow.